Welcome back, Van here. Today we're at Rome City Brewing Company. Rome City Brewing Company, uh, Tap Brew. Yeah. Tap Brew, okay, this is Matt. Matt's gonna show us around. We're fixing to try a new hamburger. My new hamburger, they've had it for a minute. So let's go down here and check this place out. It's a 10 wow. barrel system. Uh, we can do about 360 gallons at a time. Uh, this is what's called a mash tun, right? This is where all the grains that make the beer go in here. You know how you make tea? Right. Pretty much what it does in here. It, it sits. So once it's done here, we have these two pumps here. It brings it in, brings up this. This is the boil kettle. Right. It goes in here, start to boil it. We boil it for an hour. It's when we add our hops and everything that makes beer taste like beer. So when it gets done with here, it goes to this thing. What this is is a chiller. This is you, before we put it in the fermenters. It goes from 212 degrees down to 65. It goes in the fermenters. When it goes in the fermenters, we get it in, we lock it up, we put our yeast in, and of course yeast is what eats sugar out of that sweet water and causes the alcohol. Yeah. Once that gets done here, it comes over to this. What this is, is called a bright tank. The bright tank is what carbonates. This is Romulus. This is my favorite beer. Okay. It's called Romulus Rye PA. It's got mangoes in it. Okay. So is, is it named after the Romulus? Everything we do is named after like Downtown Brown, Clock Tower IPA, oh. Romulus, Mango Rye IPA. Now, Short Hot Blonde is named after one of the owner's wives. Because oh. that's what, it's, she's Short Hot Blonde. So. <laughs> um, All right. Then we have a, a Peggy's, which, you know, I'll tell you a little bit about Peggy. But uh, we got Peggy's Pale Ale, and I'll tell you why she's significant to Rome. Okay. And then um, uh, the Goat Milk Stout, which is another significance to Rome, but nobody knows about Check this out, guys out behind me we got broad street so people can walk by down broad street and actually see what's going on here matt says that the doors can actually open up so this is like yeah people can see what's going on inside the brewery i'm emily what are you doing be serving um some delicious craft beer oh cool mm -hmm. what we're we gonna start off with you know i know that you're going to have a peggy's we rinse. got some jalapeno bottle caps dill spears fried and, and some uh, shrimp and grits Thing. Here on my plate, I've got fries. On the bottom, I've got a grilled cheese sandwich with some romaine lettuce, a tomato, an onion. Here, cheese and bacon. I've got a hamburger patty and another grilled cheese on bottom. All right, we're back, and Matt and I were gonna try this awesome food. I hope you like to see in the brewery downstairs. That is one major setup they've got here. Rome City Brewing Company. If you guys are in the Rome area, Rome, Georgia area, come by and see us. I mean, we just like to hang out and have a good time, so. We've got two grilled cheese sandwiches. We're fixing to throw this thing together. <laughs> throw, our, fries. throw our fry around, too. The widow maker. That's it, man. All right, here we go. Well, that's good. Right off the bat, I'm getting fresh onion. The lettuce is crisp. Man, the burgers cook perfectly, Matt. The bacon really stands out and the cheddar cheese is just amazing on it. Awesome. I love it. So you just tell me you had the uh, beardo maker. Yeah, I, I, I have a version of the widow maker, but it's uh, I had fried bologna and fried egg to it. So we got some jalapeno bottle caps. Fried jalapeno and some ranch dressing, right? Jalapeno, Jalapeno ranch. ranch. That's good right there, dude. That breading on there is amazing. I like it because it's not heavy. You know, mm. you get a jalapeno popper or something like that, there's a lot of bread, a little bit of jalapeno, yeah. a little bit of cheese in the middle. This doesn't have the cheese, but it's almost like, I don't know, like my grandmother used to make fried okra in a dude, skillet. I was just fixing to say that this yeah. tastes like fried okra, but with jalapeno yeah, Exactly, peppers. exactly what it reminds me of. This tastes like mom's fried okra yep. in the skillet. <laughs> That's right. So does the dill pickle taste like a fried okra in the skillet? Uh, but no, but it is, uh, the reason I like these is because it's not the chip, it's actual pickled spears and uh, jalapeno ranch there as well. You can get regular ranch too if you want. Is that but regular ranch? No, this is jalapeno ranch oh, okay. too. they're both jalapeno. Mm -hmm. mm. Hey, that's good. It's even, you know, it, even though it's been sitting for a minute, it's still got a crunch to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love pickles, so I'm kind of biased to pickles. I love them. Any, I've never had a pickle I didn't like. Right. So what kind of beer we have here, Matt? This is Peggy's Pale Ale. 
Tell us about pigs, pale ale. Well, in Rome, back in the, I think it was the 40s, 50s, 60s, I think, if I'm correct, she owned a brothel. And if you don't, don't know what a brothel is, Google it, because I'm not going to go into it. But she owned a brothel. And being in Rome, Georgia, in the Bible Belt, knowing that your town was famous for a brothel was unheard of. What had happened was during that time they were having the whole alcohol, uh, something like that. they were having issues with alcohol and everybody was uh, fighting and upset and the actual, the, the people of Rome, the, the mayor, the, the sheriff, they all went to Peggy and asked Peggy if she would move downtown because she was out in the Coosa area to start with, move downtown, settle these people down. So that's what she did. She moved down here. And she's, I don't remember what block it is. It's just five minute walk from here, and that's if you're barely walking. She, they, they, they invited her to come down here with her brothel and calmed the whole situation down, and she became a staple name in Rome, Georgia. Peggy Sneed was her old name, and so we had to name a beer after her. I mean, we want to keep everything we do here local to Rome, so all of our beers from now on. We make beers that's going to have a name that has to do with Rome, Georgia. Because yeah, uh, we, love, we love it here. But anyways, this one is for Van. Uh, thank you, buddy. Love being part of Van's world. Cheers, buddy. Thanks, Matt. Wow. It's similar to like a, if you had 420, it's a pale ale, you know, yeah. sweet water 420. Yeah, yeah, bring a flight. This I do really like it. It is. It's really good, man. Wow. It's easy. Like I said, it's easy to drink. That's the big Well, how does it make you feel, man, whenever you make a beer and someone like me says that I like it? What? You know how your grandmother used to bake stuff or make things and then she would sit it in front of you and wait for you to eat it? Right. I get the same kind of, you want to, like, when you dug into it and you ate it and you seen your face light up and she goes, this is great. That, that's what we like to do. We want yeah. people, we want to make beer. We want people to tell me that this is really good. But that's, that's what we do. We, we want to make good beer for a place that we love, so. We love it here. Got the short hop blonde right here. Yeah, the blonde. Clock Tower. Clock Tower. I've got the downtown brown and then the goat meal. Melissa's a short hop blonde. Um, I thought it was me, yeah. <laughs> but I had a rude awakening. It's an oatmeal style. This right. thing is named after Jay's father. Jay grew up in Alabama. His father. He had a lot of fun. His nickname was the Goat, and we love him dearly. So we named a beer after us. This is really dark. This is that. And I'm not getting much of a smell off of it. Just put it in your face. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. Wow, dude. That tastes, I'm, a, I'm not going to lie to you, it tastes kind of like a beer and a wine mix. Yep. That's because it's, it's got roasted barley. It's got a chocolate. Okay. It's got uh, all the all the all of our dark um, grains like Munich and um, uh, Crystal Eighty. All the dark grains go into that, and uh, it's oatmeal. In it. It's got oatmeal. In it. oatmeal. That's okay. why we call it oatmeal style. Hey y'all! So Matt was telling me that you can come down here to Rome City Brewing Company, right, mm -hmm. and take a tour mm -hmm. of the plant for ten dollars, and you get the flight. Mm -hmm. It'll be four sample beers, four four ounce samples, four four whatever four you pick. Samples. You don't, you don't, you don't get, you don't have to stick with it. You, yeah. you, you pick whatever you so want. So you pick what you want, and you get to take a tour of the brewing company down here. So I'm gonna finish off the goat, goat meal style. Goat meal style. Mm -hmm. That's how we like to drink it around here. Wow. Wow, that is awesome, y'all. That is a good tasting beer. <laughs> This right here is the uh, downtown brand. All right. Uh, this is brand. It also has it has similarities to the goat meal. Go, go ahead. No, I'm fine. Just, I'm playing. Man. But it's it's a little bit lighter in color, but it yeah. still has the same. Uh, it's still heavy on the flavor. So something wrong with the sniffer. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, I just want the flavor, though. You you smell it all day until you yeah. taste it. That's what I really worry about. When you it go does in have a good smell. It does have a good smell. It's got a fruity smell, really, yep. to be honest with you. When you go, when you do uh, professional beer tasters, smell it like it's wine. They do the same thing. That's good. That's really mellow, easy going down. 
What uh, percentage alcohol is this? That is uh, six percent. Yeah. Right here, dude. That's short hot blonde. That's a that's a what we call a gateway beer. A gateway beer. A gateway beer. We'll save it for last. Yeah. That that's what you want to that's what you want to drink if if you sit around and you drink Bud Lights all the time. Okay, that's me. Uh, or a uh, big you know, uh, big beers. That's your gateway beer. Now that one, that's eight and a half percent. That's the Clock Tower IPA. Wow. This is really, that's got a you good smell that one? Oh, yeah, man. That one goes through the coal. <laughs> oh, wow, man. That's awesome right there. That's 900 that's, pounds of grain going into making a 300 uh, gallon batch of that. That's got more of an IPA taste to it, and I like an IPA beer. Yeah. It's very heavy. It's yeah. very, that's, very heavy. That's a thick, but it's smooth. That, well, that's we also uh, what's different between ours and a lot of people's. It has uh, it's a little bit maltier, so it's not as, as bitter and as in your face as a lot of IPAs are. Right. That one's got a lot of smoothness. It's got a step of edge. It's got it's, it's rounded on the edge, yeah. so it's not as bad. But, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's that's this is Romulus. Romulus. Rye. Okay. Hell Rye. Rye. Mango. Mangoes. This is one of the mangoes you say that if you drink it. Taste the mango. I hope I'm right. At least that's what I taste. I think I smell mango. I think I smell mango. <laughs> yeah. That's a really good light IPA beer right there. Yeah. That is smooth. Yep. And that one is a that one's a six percent. Six percent. Yep. I love it. That's your gateway beer. That's one you should have started with. Short hot blonde. And the man goes backwards. He goes backwards. <laughs> he should have started with this one. He might not even taste this one after those other ones. So then we can start over. Yeah. We can start over many times you want. We can edit it. By the end, we'll just be laying back like. <laughs> Fans wall. Yeah. We'll just be mumbling the whole time. That's mellow. That's mellow compared to. Well, he the wrecked others. his taste buds with this one, <laughs> so he really can't taste anything. Yeah, we have a good time. Please, if you're ever here, come see us. Break. I'll even let Van know. If you let us know that you know us from Van, I'll let him know down here, and he'll get all his beers for free. <laughs> <laughs> you want to finish two cool for school? I mean, I'll finish them all if you don't want to. No. Oh, okay. Let's go wrap it up for Van at Van's World at Rome City Brewing Company in Maddale. If you've got any questions about Rome City Brewing, just leave it in the comment section down below. Hey, matter of fact, tell me what you think about this video because I'm sure Matt's going to want to know whenever he watches the video. Uh-huh. I'm going to watch it. I watch all these videos. So now we're going to kill Peggy. I'm going to kill Romulus. <laughs> you have Romulus? Yeah. And I have Peggy. Yep. Yeah. They're fixing to be down. Yeah. Hey y'all, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Y'all have a good one now. You come back. Appreciate it.